Hi, I'm Anna Hansen from The Modern Pantry and today I am going to cook for you a gooseberry, turmeric and pistachio French pani tart. So first we have to make the short crust pastry and I'm going to put half of the flour into the Vita mix, add the salt and all of the butter. It's really important that your butter is cold at this point, otherwise it will go to a dough very quickly. And at this stage we just want to pulse it to get a fine crumb. And this looks good. I'm going to add the remainder of the flour and most of the water. Okay, well that's enough really. I don't want to overwork it, otherwise the pastry will be quite tough. I'm just going to turn it out onto the work surface. And then quickly just bring this together. I'm going to wrap that up and put it in the fridge to chill. So now we need to cook gooseberries to soften them a little bit. And I've added the manuka honey to give a little bit of sweetness. So a little bit of sweet and sour going on there. So our gooseberries are cooked to perfection and I'm going to put them to the side while we make our French pani. So first the almonds, and then the pistachios, the coconut sugar, the dates, softened butter, then three eggs, and the turmeric last. I'm going to blend this on level four and using the tamper to help me push the nuts down into the blade until the mix gets going. One of the great things about the Vitamix, it is awesome at blending nuts to a really brilliant consistency really quickly. Now we've finished the frangipani, I'm going to get the pastry out of the fridge and roll it. And this is something we do at the restaurant, we roll it between two sheets of paper. It helps to keep the pastry short. So it should be, when you're finished, a couple of millimetres thick. So I think this looks pretty good. So I'm just lightly pressing the pastry into the corner of the tin and then I'm just going to fold the excess pastry down. And then I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my finger and basically go around and press into each fruit. And I'm just going to trim the excess off. So now we just need to put it in the fridge for 10-15 minutes to chill before we blind bake it. So that's looking good. I'm just going to put it in the oven now at 180 degrees for about 15-20 minutes. So now the tart shell is blind baked. We can fill the tart shell with the French pan. And we'll spread it around. I mean, as you can see here too, the consistency is amazing. Now for the gooseberries. We want to keep most of the syrup aside because after the tart has baked, we're going to glaze it. Push the gooseberries gently down into the frangipani with the back of the spoon. Now we're going to return the tart to the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. So our beautiful tart is now out of the oven and I've just heated the leftover syrup that we saved before. I'm just going to brush it onto the tart to glaze it. Put plenty on because it will soak down into the frangipani and add to its deliciousness. So there you have it, a beautiful gooseberry turmeric and pistachio frangipani tart, easily whipped up at home in the Vitamix. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.